Good morning. I am Mrs. Brown and this is Lakeside Elementary School and I'm here with my fourth graders who are in STEAM class working on building a flood barrier. We have been studying weather. We just finished covering thunderstorms, hurricanes, and what else guys? Tornadoes. And tornadoes. Now we're going to take a look at a flood and build a flood barrier. All right, so last week we began this project, guys. And when we started the project, we looked at a short video clip about floods. And then I asked you, in a real situation, if an area knew that they were being flooded, what would they do to protect their home? And Keon told us that they would put what around their homes, Keon? Sandbag. Sandbag. So that's one material that's being used. We also looked at rocks, okay? Rocks can be used to build a barrier around homes, to build a barrier around coastlines to protect some of um, the homes from get, being hit by um, high waves, okay? But unfortunately for our project, we don't have sandbags. We don't have rocks to use. We can't lift up the house that we're creating and sit it on something, right? Because they don't do that in real life, do they? No, okay? So we have some other absorbent materials that we're going to use. And last week, your mystery pickers had the opportunity to pick the material um, for your table. Table one, what's the material you guys are using? You guys have to build a home and protect it with cotton balls and other materials. Table two, what do you guys have? Sponges, so you have to protect your home with sponges. Table three? Paper towels. Paper towels. Table four? Uh, foam, sponges. foam sponges. And table five? Cloth. And you have cloth. Now guys, those materials are for you guys to use, those absorbent materials are for you guys to use however you need them. So if you need to cut them, if you need to stretch them out, you may do so, okay? Um, can your barrier, when we build our paper house, can your barrier completely cover your house? No. no, it has to be at least half the size of the house or lower, okay? So, can your materials touch your house? No. No, good job, way to remember that. Now, at, last week you guys worked on your cost sheet. And some of you spent your entire um, budget of $5 on additional materials. And I highlighted those because you can't go back and change it. However, if you did not use all of your money, I will let you go back and purchase some other things, okay? Because what I think you guys are going to find out is you might not, those people who didn't use all of their money, you might not have enough of uh, materials you need to build this barrier around your house. Now, following the STEAM thinking process, we have our ask. How can you build a barrier that can protect a home from flooding? And then we're moving on to brainstorming. Okay, we thought about the supplies that we needed and how we, we use them, and we made our call sheet. Okay, now today we're gonna do our design. And before we start our design, okay, you, everybody has to contribute um, an idea, and then you have to choose the best idea. How do we choose um, the idea we want to go with? What, how do we choose that? Do I just say, oh, we're going with my idea because I think it's great. No, the end. Yeah. We have to agree. How do we agree, Keon? What are some methods? Make, it, like, make an agreement and say, like, so give an idea and then let the other people give an idea and then vote. Okay, how do we vote? So, what are some voting methods? Like, so you can say, which one? Raise your hand if you want to do Elena's. Okay. Mine. Okay, so we raise our hand to choose. What are some other methods other than voting? Um, you can, um, like, um, tell which one is the best. Like, um, if you want to, um, if we're brainstorming and we have a good idea, in my group we all discuss it, and when we discuss it, uh, we think of uh, which one is better than the rest of them. Okay, so through talking, come up with that decision. Okay, what's another method? Yeah, we could do rock, paper, scissors. If, we, if people get dead set on, hey, I want my idea, I want my idea, let's do rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins, that's the idea we go with. What's another method, Carmen? 
Okay, that's going with voting. What about, didn't we talk about using the dice? Or numbering our um, triangular pieces and then rolling a die and whatever one it lands on, that's the idea we go with. If we have lots of ideas and nobody can really decide on which one to choose. Okay, Carson. Well, what if we roll the dice and, and then the people have to sing? Then you roll again until you, well, oh, let me change, let me answer your question. If you number your triangular pieces, one, two, three, four. And let's say, Carson, your idea is number two, okay? And my idea is number four, okay? Whatever that one lands on, okay? So it's not, have, you won't run into the situation where you have the same, okay? Because you're gonna number it one, two, three, four, okay? And pick that way. All right, so what I need you to do now is get a pencil out of the table box, take a minute, think about your idea, maybe look at your cost sheet, because you might think of some more materials that you may need within your idea, and then you're going to draw your design on your triangular piece. Now, look at, also look in your silver tin of the materials that you have so far, okay? We're not building right now, we're just drawing out our design. Everybody got it? All right, so put the blue paper in the middle. I didn't give you a really big one this time. Maybe you want to move your materials and tools to the side so everybody can get a square. If it is five people in a group, I'll bring another sheet, okay? So for example, you would take this, you would take this, you can take this in, you can take this in, and I'll bring you a sheet, okay? All right, get started, guys. So right now, in the design phase, remember, we're not talking. We are drawing it out first, and then we talk about it when we're done. So draw it out first, then discuss it. You want to draw here? And then that's what we want. And then after that, we can use this and then fill up the gaps. I have no idea what yes. that. We could get. Maybe, maybe we could use that to put it right in here so like we could cut it in the middle. So it won't be touching the house and so it kind of like suck in the water. Use the three things to build. You know how we normally have the big wine um, paper? Okay. I feel I got a good idea. If she cut, said we could cut this. But if we cut this, it'll be like the same size as this. But we cut the curves right here. And then we can... Hmm, these more I think I need more. I think we need more for this, for this one. Because I'm about to I have to do some cutting. Now, I see a house, but what's your, like, what's your barrier around your house going to look like? Pa paper towels is already given to you guys. That's your absorbent material. So on your cost sheet right here are the additional things. So you guys still have a dollar left. So is there something else looking at the materials you have that you think your, gr your group might need, okay? Everybody put, list their ideas? Yes. All right, so now discuss them and then choose which one you want to go with, okay? So guys, once everybody has listed their ideas, we're not on the creation phase yet, you're going to discuss your idea and choose which one you want to go with. Once your group has chosen, raise your hand so I can come around to you and let you know if you guys are ready to start building. Thank you. All right, number two, who had idea number two? Huh? All right, so now label, so that's the one your group is going with. Be sure to label those materials, okay? So you can make sure you have everything you need because when I close the store to purchase, that's gonna be it. So label everything in your drawing, like what's this? Okay, how are you gonna connect those? Did you guys choose? Did you talk about it? Did y'all talk about it? So who did you pick? Who's, so you picked number one? Okay, so now who, whose idea is number one? 
Okay, so Artavia, what I need you to do is label those materials so that you can make sure you have everything you need. How are you gonna get, I see, this looks like it could be cotton balls, right? Well, how are you gonna get those cotton balls to stay together? You just gonna sit them there? Do you need tape? You also, your group also purchased um, tubes, your group purchased straws. Are you gonna incorporate those in your design? Okay, so talk about all those things, guys, okay? Like, um, so we do it like that, and then we like block the popsicles and put the house right here. Well, the house has to be in the middle, remember? So does that mess up your design? Yep. Because that, and you can't use the the ruler is used to measure um your house to make sure it's uh your structure is only half the height or less, not as a um tool to or material to build with. So you can't use this to um in any kind of way as a material for your house, okay? Okay, we gotta make those. The so house is gonna be right here. The house is gonna be in the middle. So does your design work? Do you guys need to go back and talk about it? My idea was like to like triangle, like to triangle to like strips like, like about like, we can't this the house big. It won't be touching us in the middle, and it would be like right over like here. Okay. But the water is going to be pouring right there. So, like, I'll be standing here, and I'll pour the water along the side. Like, stack it up like right there. Okay. Okay. Well, discuss it with your group. Okay. So yeah, keep talking. Okay. Have we labeled everything? The house stays in the middle. And then, and then we put the sticks there, and then you cut them up, we cut them up, and so you have more, and then at the front, cut them up. Cut the sticks? Uh, I have to see if my wood cutter, or my cardboard cutter, will cut that. I don't know if my scissors will. If by chance, we, you might be able to break them in half. You can only use that for measuring. Okay, that's it. Super simple paper folding. Y'all, you guys come over here. That's yours. Now have a seat. He'll show you how he'll he's done it. It's gonna be a square. Take your paper, and we're going to fold it so the ends touch. And then fold it like that. Then when you open it up, you should be able to make it, make a square like this. I need you to pause for just a second. Some of you have already started trying to build, and I didn't say do that just yet, okay? Anybody, any tables need to purchase more materials? So we are good with, yes or no? I heard some yeses, okay? So I'm gonna be in the back in just a second for the, isn't it a materials person who can come back to me to purchase the materials? Okay, so we'll do that in just a second. If you do not need to purchase any more materials, table four, I need you listening. Carson at table two, I need you listening. And put the scissors down, okay? Unfreeze this. So if you don't need to purchase any more materials, okay, it is time to build. Using the plan you and your team develop, create your flood barrier, okay? Make sure, make sure, make sure you also get the tape for your house so that you can put it in the middle, okay guys? Have fun and get to creating, go. We hope you enjoy coming to the Lakeside Steam Room and building flood barriers. Go!